song of praise and thankful tears fill my eyes. Cause your love's too much for my heart to contain. Joy too much for my feet to overframe. Like an angel's got a hold of my hand I am So I dance I dance I dance I dance Like the rain on the roof Hey I can't stop my subject that has taken us for a very very long time over six months now this is the seventh month amen na tunaendelea kusungumuzia kitu tukinaitwa understanding the indicators of the active covenant bana sifesan every covenant as we talk to is an agreement spiritual agreement maagano ama makubaliano ya rohoni between humanity and a god amen that is the meaning of the word uh, the conviction ama the covenant covenant is superior there is only one thing that god will never do he will never go back on his covenant amen People can always even renounce love watu wanaopendana wanaweza kataa wanaweza kashiriana wanaweza sumbana but there is one word that when god enters a covenant he never break it amen god will never break his covenant that's what the bible says Now there is what you call the indicators of the active covenant. Now this indicator there are many times tuliingia familiarity tulianza nayo. Alafu uh, that is inactive, inactive. For example I said when a man and a woman husband and a wife become familiar then there is an inactive covenant. Bana siwesa When your covenant is dying when you are being convicted agano linakufa haliendelei tena hiyo ni kumaanisha kwamba familiarity mazoea inaingia lakini leo nipe nafasi i want to speak to you concerning the indicators of the active covenant in quotes i call it worship tell your neighbor worship please talk to me loudly say worship Randomly if I ask today what is worship Nikiuliza what is worship many people will not be able to understand me what is worship But worship it is called the high level of prayer that is beyond the normal prayer Banazosan It is worship that worship there is a difference between praise and the worship 
that now the problem when you mention the word worship what comes in your mind for example betty is a magina worship ni sema worship ama praise and worship what comes to your mind Lakini si unasikia wanasemaga hapa tunakuwa na praise and Do you believe in that? Can you believe in it? People think when you talk about worship any time that I mention that tunaingia worship unaona muziki imeteremshwa sauti si ni kweli? Keyboard imeondolewa beats ama Jameni ama inakuwa gaje? Hiyo eh? na now let us sing worship songs worship what but there's nothing that you call worship songs no and that's why i have made it because praise praise it is one of the greatest when we when we are in music for example it is one of the greatest gifts that god has given to humanity that you give first of all from your lips it is praise praise the lord that is what god gives you praise now even if you kusifu mzee somong but i cannot wash mzee somong if i want to sifu mzee somong ni mwambie wewe ni mzuri mzee wewe ni wa nguvu kwa sauti hata nitane kidogo ni mwambie mzee somong ni wajabu wewe ni wa nguvu vile nawaambia hata makaaba vile wanasifinge wanaume wa wale wasema wa makaaba wa Mombasa wanasema i say baben poleni sana baba kwa kazi naomba baba upumsike basi naomba kukutoa jaketi eh naomba baba nikusaidie basi umaachi moto baba yani sauti nyororo baba we mwenyewe ndio wenge basi we ndio simba peke yako wewe ndio wa nguvu hiyo ni sisi sifa hiyo si worship hiyo ni nini aise sifa lakini sauti nini Wastahili kuabudiwa unastahili eh yes people think that is worship it's not worship it is what i say it's what unastahili kufanya nini but now when we sing unastahili kuabudiwa we sing it in sauti nyororo that is not worship now today i want to go deeper and understand what is worship right these three things down worship is in three levels in what when worship number one is no worship without an altar without what i say without what number two they can never be worship without a sacrifice without what i without what they can never be an altar a sacrifice and then there is no priest there is no what now three things three things involved amen now let me let me explain sacrifice now today i want to talk about sacrifice about what i said i want to talk about what sacrifice sacrifice apart from when you hear somebody says i sacrifice it in other words is something that is painful an opportunity time and everything praise the lord that is sacrifice now sacrifice is the highest level of prayer that you make any time you hear people mention fred devil worship what comes into your mind yeah now the people worship the devil what do you think they do sometimes by our imaginations i said they do what come you know it and you speak so loudly they do what they do what they sacrifice now you have now understood and agreed with me that ya kwamba worship it is not music I say worship it's not what I say it is not it is not music when you hear the word devil worship it comes to your mind these are the people 
who sacrificed human beings. Even we don't know that they sacrificed animals. See the word? What are sacrificing? Human beings. Human beings. And that is the level because when you sacrifice, now let's let's come down. When you sacrifice, it gives you an opportunity beyond a man that you pray. Praise the Lord. We have never had devil prayers. They are devil. <laughs> they are never called devil. They are called devil worship. Now, when God was speaking to my heart, ni juicy, when was it? Baby? When was it? Friday? Past. I was in my house and then the spirit of the Lord came and conflicted my heart and he said, I said, Mimi ni no with these words for a very long time. It is, it is now six months. Ni kaona kwamba these words have been speaking over. Ni una kama imeisha. Ni meongea sana juu ya covenant. And God come to me and he said that you have not finished yet. You must continue speaking the indicators of the covenant. A covenant without a sacrifice is not a covenant. What has it said? It's not a sacrifice. It's not a covenant. Now, and God spoke to me about sacrifice. And he said, sacrifice, that is worship, is the highest level. A highest level to an extent that when you sacrifice, no devil can stand a sacrifice whenever it's given. No devil can stand. Listen to this. Second Kings chapter number 3, 26. There was a king that was, who was invaded. The king had and they are and they are and they are doing and they are and they are doing and they and they the Bible says, and the king of Moab, when he saw the enemy advancing, he was doing what? The enemy was doing what? Some advancing, the man. The enemy was advancing against the children of Israel. Against the Moabites. The king of Moab, Second Kings chapter number 3, verse 26. The Bible says, when he saw the battle was fierce, what the man did? The Bible says he took his firstborn child. Amen. After he took his firstborn child, he offered him as a sacrifice in the wall. When he offered him as a sacrifice, the Bible says when the, and the, when, when, when the children of Israel saw it, God who was in heaven, he honored a sacrifice even from wicked men. From a wicked man. Even Freddy to Nasty are devil to Nambi Wada come out to Jew. To Nambi Wada Mamma Tom Kewak, Yamame Tom Totoak, Yamame Tom Mukem Wanamka Nashka Mimba in a Mwagika, Bada Kumwaika Yaman and Rea Kutajika. Unona watu on a drive Magari Masito. Yet people say, Who you need a worshiper? And you see somebody has already sacrificed. Mandiko in a sermon. Now you ask yourself, Pressure. If this person, I'm a to sacrifice, Yam Tuake, Na I'm a Kuatajin. Yeah, physically, because for eternity you will not have to say. We are not going to say. We are not going to say. We are not going to say. We are not But when the enemy was coming, yani wale not going to say. We are 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 not going to say. We for understanding for what? I said for what? Second Kings chapter number three, verse twenty-six. Read it, Second Kings three, verse twenty-six yes. says, yes. "When the king of Moab realized that he was losing the battle, he was doing what? He was losing the battle. Thank you. Uh -huh. He took seven hundred swordsmen uh -huh. with him and tried to force his way uh -huh. through the enemy lines and escape to the king of Syria." Uh -huh. But he failed. Uh, so he took his eldest son. Thank you. Before then, what did he do? He took men for battle. He did men what? I said he took men for what? Hata iwe mushana, iwe kijana, iwe mwanaume. There are some battles that no matter how you look like, you may have the certificate in your hand, you may have the beauty, you may have the connection. But let me tell you, what can give you an opportunity ahead of your rivals is a sacrifice. 
there's nobody in this house who has, who is like confusion like that. Ebu saw my tenant sister because yours is so easily understood. When the king of Moab realized, realized that, that he was losing the battle, he was losing what? The battle. Eh? He took 700 swords men with him mm -hmm. and tried to force his way through the enemy lines and uh, escaped. Uh, the... You are reading very well. Jan, when he saw he was losing the battle, he added the army. He added what? How many did he add? 700. I said, how many? I have, well, after he had the 700, what happened next? And tried to force his way through the enemy lines. Yes. And escaped to the king of Syria. Uh -huh. But he failed. Uh -huh. So he took his eldest son, Thank you. who was to succeed him as king, uh -huh. and offered him on the city wall uh -huh. as a sacrifice to the god of Moab. Thank you. And he sacrificed his eldest what? Then kuna vita sister, you can not fight them by the physical abilities. Amen. There are some battles you cannot fight them by physical nature. There are some battles you can never fight. But the moment you raise a sacrifice, a sacrifice is superior. It gives you an authority ahead of your enemies. Same degree, same class, same level. Before the interviewers, a man goes in, takes a bribe, gives to the interviewer, and he comes back outside and he joins you on the same line. When the time of interview comes, shortlisting when it comes, what is considered especially on the corrupt nation called Kenya? I say, what to happen? What is a bribe? Did he? He doesn't have even a job. He went and sold land. See the word? See the word? Now he knows. Hata hata majeshi wanandikuwa hapa, hapa polisi wanandikuwa hapa. Watu wanakimbia kifua wasi. Masaa yote. Mutu wanatoka pale kume majina. Yale ya wenye wanandikuwa. Ili chukuliwa asubui. Hata si asubui. Ili chukuliwa last week. Sini kwe? Ili chukuliwa. <laughs> Nini muku hapa kwa kiwanda mnaema. Ati you are applying your physical strength. Unani yada kwa? I have gone in places. Tulikuwa kambani the other day. Tukaona polisi mwenye ambao ni mfupi kuniriko. Nikaulisa tena wacha hivu. Tena akona debe debe ranks. Ngambo hii. Ziko zimeteremuka. Jamaa kwa hapo. Hana pigiwa saruti na watu warefu kuniriko hivi marakada. Kama hii kama Fred ya maso mongi. Then I looked at it and I was asking. Other day I asked my wife. This guy. He is a police imposter like Weganjo. Or is another serious police. But now looking around, this one he cannot be an imposter because there are so many junior police officers around him. I discovered that the way this man was employed, there is a rule that was broken. Okay, what did I say? Kwa kiswahili, kuna sheria ili ovunjwa ya maka andi kwa kazi. Na sema kuna sheria, sema si yate mtezo mongi? Kwa sheria ya polisi, si kuna kipimo katika Katika mbao fulani wanakereaga hapa hivu pite ndani. 5-8. Chato hiyo wako 3-2. Bana zifuye sana. Kabisa. Na niku inasema. There are some battles that when you are fighting them. When you are doing what? Let me tell you. Sacrifice is as dangerous. It is an indicator of a covenant. Amen. When you are in a sacrifice. Sacrifice. And, and, and I, would, I would dwell on this one for a very long time also. Sacrifice is differently from praise. From what? From what? Even if you go even to the, to the idol worshippers temple, they don't even sing songs. They don't do what? They don't sing songs. They don't say anything. But let me tell you. And that's why the Christianity Muse Somongi there is no Christian friend who has anything to do with sacrifice. People can start to do jobs. There is a sister, let me tell you, a sister who was, she was a primary school teacher, this girl. 
this, I call her a girl or sister. But then she was 41 years old. 42. This woman. Arikua intercessor. Mwombesi. And she was in the praise and worship team. This, this lady. Arikua katika praise and worship team. Now, the problem is that this woman prayed for her husband for a long time. She prayed. Now, one day, she said, I will no longer pray. Instead of prayer, I will sacrifice. What I just said, I will sacrifice. Now, let me tell you, sacrifice, it gives an opportunity to attract the gods in your life. Everybody read that, that scripture, Jerusalem again. Say my sacrifice. Please speak to me loudly. Say my sacrifice. Sacrifice. Sacrifice attracts the gods. Attracts what? When the gods comes down after the sacrifice, then you worship it. That's now when you start praising him. Because when the God appears, my friend, Kuna brother ako huku anaongea ndimi kama speed governor. Unani ya lakini? Bwana zifuwe sana. Hako anaongea kwa bibi. Tena ni muombesi intercessor express. If aneombea dada. God I want a wife. I want na wameona mshana moja murembo mmoja. Wako wandugu kama waine watano. Unani ya lakini? Wote. Tuwaja tuja za sacrifice ya kanisa. Tuje wote. Huyu mmoja anamwambia Mungu atatukumbuka. Hata tukae hapa kwa muti tukule tu tukule tu mahindi choma Jehovah anakuja. Na mwingine akwambie excuse me, he drew an excess. Let's go to America. Let's have a cup of tea. Utangoja kukaa chini ya muti, ungoje Bwana ama unaenga goja because you you are a god. You are attracted. <laughs> Waya tuna, tuna, tunasema ile ukweli, waza tuache ukora ati unapenda Mungu. Mimi naweza kuvumilia Mungu. Nani wanawake wavumilia Mungu? Nani anakuambia hiyo? Wanawake wanataka action. Ama ni aje? Eh? Wewe unaona Yakobo anasimama kufanyia mwanamke kazi miaka 14 nani stop? Sister. Wewe ulifanywa Bwana anaweka mshahara inaitwa standing order 14 years and interrupt hata mama yake aise kununulia kazi lipas. A man works for how many years? Not 14 months. How many years? 14 years. Esther. Wako ali, ali wafanya muda gani? Awezi hata hata wiki moja. Mushara ya wiki moja ambiwa kamba hiyo ni ya mwanamuke. Anasema hii gasia. And that's why you see prostitutes are half, half, half a hand. Because one, they start by sacrificing and the praise. Nani yada wakini? Yeye ndi ananunua gasi wanamita mwanamume. Ananunua. Kanyama rubo. Let me tell you, this is serious. Be serious. Now, put your antennas right. Satanic, demonic ideologies about women even are doing wale ambao waja wakoka. Anachukua kanyama robo. Anaweka kwa sehemu za siri. Anakaa nao siku saba. Anachongea mwanaume. Mwanaume anakaa pale anakula devi deno. Mwanaume akishakula watoto wanakutoshana hivi warevu kumuliko excess hivi. Ameacha mtoto wake original kama huyu. Huyu amezaa kabisa. Anaenda kulinda wanaume wazee kama kama deno wanamuita eh eh hey, ni aje bude dad anambia ware tingoi please you move what you want because a sacrifice is in place is what don't even cry even, I usually say even the women who think because it's a battle marriage is what I say marriage is what kuna wanawake leo hivi awastukangi hata kama mwanuma ameolewa si yako na pesa Anakulitaka yu pesa, akule, we ukule peke yako. I will do something about it. And then now, you are only here on a calf with no sacrifice, no worship, no praise. No, not, not even a man before the God who created marriage. I said before the God who created marriage. Wono naka mwanamuka ratokeka, Jerusha. Unafikiri mwanamuka ameamuka kutoka kwake. Akaba miniska chiko paka imefika ngambo hii. Matiti ya meachiria hivi. Na wanaume wali urinduwa kishetani. Because every man has his own demonic standard. They are all standard. If a man sees 
this pressed niko naambia my wife the other day gambia siji ni nini shetani aliyeka kwa siji ni shetani ama ni Mungu aliyeka kwa matiti ya mwana mwana mtu hajaona sana tanguo kako hapa hivi na amekaa tu hivi mwanaume wako hapa concentration inapotea blues haya wacha mzee somongi aseme hiyo kweli hata leo nikija kutoka nyumbani nikiteremka kuna ni ajabu sana sababu huyu mama alikuwa naenda kanisa na imagine nguo ni hapa yani nguo ingine imevika hapa pande lakini huku kwote ni hapa nilijiuliza mambo mengi nikasema ni nini naendelea na uone mzee somongi ameaka afika miaka 65 huyu sasa hebu ambia huyu Fred hajafika miaka thati Muko hapo na yeye hivyo lakini akisa hiyo na wengine hata even they come very mwanaume yani siji Mungu aliumba wanaume and the bible says in Genesis 1:31 and when God saw and he was happy he did what a man was created to see to do what Unasikia faith a man was created to do what but a woman was created to listen to do what That's why a man can come unajua sister na kunulia gari na kunulia shamba na kunulia mtu amevaa viatu inakaa kama kama ombuta imefungua mdomo hivyo lakini uko serious in fact a woman was called 50000 anaambiwa na jamaa hajawahi onana naye mirere hello honey i just saw you on facebook and i was so wrecked na baraka i i was just i'm coming you are home tena jamaa kamuenjoy kwa kumtumia 1800 kumuenjoy kumbe jamaa anataka 50000 akamtumia 8000 just stick to your mother and father because i'm coming una unakaribisha shaitan the man you have never seen in life even if you are desperate in marriage a man that you have never met in life yani unataka kumpeleka kwa wazazi wako atisasa niko mtito andei ay ay i'm sorry my car's broken down you know i was with some friends just coming to your home you know i was only coming to see you imagine uh, uh, even talk to my friend here uh, imagine all right msichana na changa nikiwa sema sorry honey sorry honey unaita mtu hani you have never met him you don't know even he's a grandfather more a devil than himself wengine ni prisoner wengine even see prisoners dali jemsha ni serious characters who have divide away mtu jam sana kaenda akachukua pesa zote alikuwa nazo dada si zake 70000 akamwambia ali pole just fix the car when you come there honey i will just fix it very much and i will i will just come because my atm has just no bank around there you know i know nakumbuka huyu mama alikuwa anamfanyia mkanda ka kioski kingine karibu na kwetu tu hapo kazini watu walikuwa kifulo hivi asubuhi mpaka jioni watu wanajaa kwa hiyo kioski huyo mkanda alikuwa na mbinu zake alikuwa anafanya kumbe hata yule naye ana understand akalan later on akatoka akaenda kwa saa hizi huyo mama na hapo na yeye lakini wanaume karibu wote wanapata <laughs> na ni mimi tu ndio siende huko sababu ni no ni vile unakujaga kwa hii <laughs> ni vile unakujaga kwa hii chachi mzee somo ngiada hizo ungekuwa umeshikwa nafsi inge wewe nimeshahubiria nafsi miaka 4 nafsi yako ile nafsi kibebwa imekwenda ama Mzee Tomoki anasema ukweli ni yeye tu ajaponea. Wanaume wote wale wanafanya kazi unaona wako kama mabubu, wanaacha umemaliza mingine. Unafikiri ni rais? This woman she has gone to high level sister. She has paid the price. Wengine another sister alisemekana alienda kwa mganga wa kienyeji. Mganga wa kienyeji akachukua nyoka inaye. Anaingiza sehemu zake za siri. Seven times. Anapotoka hapo wanaume kwa barabara kwa mtu everything the money which crafts unaniona wala kitu and that's why the devil has made sure ya kwamba you will never have any sacrifice in the presence of god neither you have no even sacrifice in the presence of the devil so you become vulnerable everywhere the devil takes advantage and he squares all wanawake eh 
Tukianza kuuliza maneno uliambiwa ndio ukaolewa seriously. Hata unaweza recall. <laughs> hey. Mwanaume anaweza akinasikia sijui niende ni, unajua ninaenda US Atlanta Georgia. Na nataka kuoa. Hata sijui nifanye nini. I think I should go and marry uh, I should go and then I'll come back to marry again. Na uko hapo anajua you are not married na anajua unapenda Atlanta Georgia. Hata baraka angekuambia ninaenda Kaptembwa Mwariki in fact. Hakuna mwenye anaweza sema Mwariki saa hii hata tuseme hivi saa hii beti ujaolewa upate mwanaume anatoka Malawi na mwingine anatoka hapa tu Keratina hapa kwetu tu juu mngadi utachagua sema ukweli Keratina hakuna wacha kututanganya hapa utachagua Keratina sema hizo Malawi hizo una Malawi Malawi ni kubaya zaidi hata kuliko nini bondeni hapa you don't know because why because kuna hiyo roho ya across the border across what Yaani unasikia vizuri jamaa you know from Malawi you know from Malawi you know Malawi uliyoshakuwa ni Malawi hata unaijua sasa hii upate mwanaume wa Malawi na mwanaume wa Keratina ama Moronyo serious same kweli wa Kristo wote wako wawili wanakukatia yaani unaweza kuwa serious si usizeme ukweli si si kundi enjoy wa Moronyo na na Malawi eh hey, Malawi kwa sababu utapanda at least basi <laughs> No no like what what chat wewe Sasa kweli tunadanganyika sana sababu kuna mwanamke alikuwa akifanya kiwa na kiosk hapo pipeline Hapo hapo huyu mwanamke alikuwa na wanaume kadhaa lakini kuna driver kutoka Burundi alikuja akanyaga yeye na akaenda naye mpaka saa hii Na wakenya wote waliangaika wote wako hapo na wako na watoto wao <laughs> <laughs> Kuna roho ya cross the bow ya kupanda basi. Yaani unaambiwa ya kupanda pikipiki mpaka hapa Moronyo na ya kupanda basi, ni gani unaweza chagua? Hapo <laughs> kuna baadhi basi kupeleka kwa Islam kuliko enda I mean somebody was asking me at whether in 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 in, in Brazil kuna Islam. Somebody said the largest Islam even before Kibera the largest slum in the world iko brazil unajua you know? the biggest slum friend it is in brazil because mahali mwa afrika anaendaka ingozi nyeusi na mapepo ya mashida you have to find him a chokora you have to find him with problems kukula drugs i mean this black skin must be liberated because of our forefathers called ham ham was our grandfather from noah because he, his father cast him and they gave back to Canaan. Canaan is the Africans. And you can see the way we are suffering because Africans for your informations are the sons of Canaan. And Africa is Canaan, but the inhabitants of the land they are permanently slaves. Say my sacrifice. Ya mimi nasema sacrifice. Sema kwa sauti sacrifice. Please speak loudly say sacrifice. The Bible says and the king offered Ebu Soma tena Jerusha another one same the same same the same scripture same scripture we are not moving anywhere same scripture When the king of Moab realized that he was losing the battle he realized he was losing what the battle Now how many battles do you have in life Bwana Yesu asiwe sana Ni watu wangapi wako na battles katika maisha Nauliza ni watu wangapi wako na battles katika mimi niko na battle have battles in my life How many have battles in life If you have a battle please lift up your hand like this. If you have a battle, you there's something you feel like God if came today, you can inform him na ustaki shetani kwa biti. How many of that battle? And those battles thank you. And those battles they are consistent and they are contentious and they are continuous sometimes they may not cease. As in Shaggy, as in she, the same thing with Anna. The Bible says Anna was a first wife was what And the Bible says she was provoked to the end by Penina the co-wife And until she came back to herself akasema this battle is too much so what too much She gave a vow before God she gave a vow before God Now when the battle was too much the battle was what And now the king added Unaona msichana ametoka hapo ameshindana hivi yule 
Kwanza sema kama hii yako tu usikachike. Ameweka makonge kama hii ya beti. Alafu sasa anafanya hiyo kila saa yule mzungu. Mwingine amekuja saa hii ameweka hivi anakaa kama ninja. Umuoni vizuri. Unajua watu kila waoni vizuri ndio wanataka zaidi. Unajua hivyo? In fact ukivaa mini skirt kwa bidii hata watu hawataki. Wanataka ya muoria ama mu, mu disciple. Ni kanisa la disciple. Muoria ule mwenye ameweka kama ninja hivi hata umuoni. Wacha wale wanaonekana kama sikuizi. Wale wanakaaga hivi ni kama wako ni kama wanakupiga picha. Si unajua wale wanakuweka vitu zingine mpaka wanakaa kama wanakupiga. Mwanaume akiambiwa tena they are very expensive. Ukitongoza huyo anakuambia unajua mimi zifanyie hapa anakuru. Nafanyia busia tena mahali exclusive. So mwanaume kwa sababu hako na hiyo bidii ya kuona ni nini imefichwa nataka kuona kwa bidii. Si unajua vile watoto. Angalia hivi ni baby boys and baby girls. Baby boy ukimwambia usiguze hapa baba. Yaani mkono itaishi hapo. Si unajua hivyo? Ama Ema inaikwaje wale wako na watoto wa kiume? Ukimwambia hey dad usiguze hapo. Mtoto wangu nikiingia na kitu yote kwa nyumba, nikitaka isiguzwe, nisijaribu kusema usiangalie. Atateza mpaka mama yake. Hata nikikuja town kwa bahati mbaya. Eh daddy, siwaja tu niangalie alafu nifunge. Namuuliza boss. Namuuliza siwaja nikuje. Ah waja tu nione tu miaka sita kuza waja nione. Unakuta kitu ameona ni kitu ambacho amezoea mpaka anasema ah ni hii tu. It's nature for me. That's why unaona kama ukiwa mwanamke wa ukweli ukijitunza vizuri, ukijitunza vizuri kabisa sana waambie Mungu I am not the food for every man around then God anakupatia ile dignity. Lakini if a man comes in you as a woman akisha kuona amepita na amekwenda love one sister aliniambia kitu wenye mpaka akasema i was saying my wife the other day akamwambia i respect her aniambia kitu moja kaniambia pastor i can't sleep with those men they are too cheap one if i have to spend to sleep with them they will come at the same time waende waanza kuongea nikiwa hapo waanze kuongea na wataongea wote na nikipita hapo na unajua wanaume uzuri kama amekunyaka kama mwanamke Ah hataambia watu anaambia ah wacha na huyu na kuachia huyu nimeshamaliza naye wacha na tu yani you become an idiot lakini ukiplay hard every man will pay a price say my price by the way do you know the name Rachel means beautiful do you know that do you know that Rachel is beautiful and when Jacob saw a beautiful woman he worked for her Now the Bible says when the battle was raging the battle was what the man added more soldiers the boss of Jerusalem So naka bila mtu anataka kuongeza CV ume ume apply cash Fred alafu unaambiwa kwamba mwenye ako next day ako na exwata uko na experience ya miaka tatu ule anasema have 10 experience mpaka unasema tafadhali I was niko na experience ya kuwa baza wa shule and trained teacher and he and compromise internship yani unaongeza mpaka kila kitu iko nda eh hebu soma jeje he took seven and swords with him uh, and tried to force his way through the enemy lines and escape to the king of syria mm-hmm. but he failed mm-hmm. so he took his eldest son who was to succeed him as king and offered him on the city wall as a sacrifice to the god of moab the god of who of Moab. Uh-huh. The Israelites were terrified and so they drew back from the city and returned to their own country. Tuachie hapo Jerusha maana wewe ndio umesoma. Now let's now have a discussion. Let me ask you sister. The 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 the, 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 the God of Moab is the God of Moab more powerful than the God of Israel where the children of Israel are subscribed to. Now let me ask uh, is it powerful? Now the problem is that the Jews the children of Israel they never gave any sacrifice to their god this character they gave a sacrifice to their i said to you now at the altar of the the gods of the moab and the altar of the god of israel there was no sacrifice there was a sacrifice where was the battle where was the battle won is it in the jews or the israel or in the in the, in the, in the moabites why then because god is more powerful than even the the powerless i said why 
I said, what? Now, you can imagine, or you believe that Yakwamba, even the sacrifice offered to the demon world, it can win against you. Everybody believe that? I said, everybody believe that? Now, what can you do now that you cannot consult a witch? That's why any person, they will tell you one thing a witch doctor value beyond any is a sacrifice. Is what? I said, what? Especially some funny things. Somebody said, Okay, Beba, here and there, they talk All. Okay, Pata, my Ayake, Leo Fred, if you get two of them, Tembea hapa nakumat utafute siyo ama wakubwa nakumatu wambi nikona maya imbiri ya all. Ivi, Fred. Two million unakuja hapo na netea 200 tao. Cash! Hiyo siyo story. Na siyo wongo. Especially ukisikia wanajenda wanataka kufungua duka. Wanataka kufungua a new shop. You ask yourself. Kupatana na all. Jerusha wae ndo mnaishi mustuni wa masai. Kutanaga na hiyo bundi raisi. Unaweza kutana na rais? Nani amekutana na bundi hapa? Ndege yule mwenye anakuwa na macho naona we. Umekuta naye? Unajua bundi? Ile inakuwa na macho excess. Umeiona ma? Ni rais kupatikana? Joel. Sister. Umeiku umeiku we umeikutana nao? Dada yako amekutana naye. Umeikutana nao hiyo bundi ma? Lakini umeisikia si kweli? Wanasema hata ikijaribu kuonekana karibu na kwenu what happen? <laughs> Mzee Tomongi anaita bad. Is it a bad omen boss? Eh? Hiyo hiyo bundi wacha nikupea another revelation. Hiyo bundi unaona wakati Sodom and Gomorrah it was destroyed. Hizo ndio ndege zilibaki sikikula zile mishoga. So huwa simebeba roho ya mauti. Unaelewa no, lakini Wakati Sodom and Gomorrah they were destroyed even up to date at ukienda pale penye iliaribiwa ili Sodom and Gomorrah ilivochomwa wale wana dwell in the same the bad that are dwelling there hizo bundi ukipita unakuta hizo bundi siko so anytime they are in an assignment and that's why which doctors are they they use it more bundi kionekana hata kwa boma ya watu wale ambao wajaokoka Ikionekana tu si ndio Fred ukisikia tiriria kwa muji lazima kuna kitu inatokea si kweli sasa wale werefu wanakimbia kwa mganga mbio wanasema jameni bundi ilikuja mganga ana record anaambia bundi i recall back death excuse <laughs> Sikiza hizo sikiza ufunuo ya ya Somongi please. Sikiza ufunuo yake. Ukiona hiyo bundi chukua kijiti ya moto because inajua ni ajiana mu ya moto ya milele. <laughs> Aya, sikiza Faith ameuliza kama ni mmekutana naye shambani mahali hakuna moto mzee Somongi. is worthy over 5 million plus ukipata ukipata tu na mpea muhindi hivi anakupatia ma CDs even 500 S class unatoka tu moja kwa moja ukitrive ukien especially when they are building their new shops and that's how serious sister those guys are jamaa moja alituambia alisema wengine walikuwa wanachukua gari kabla ijaingia barabarani zilikuwa zinaenda Mombasa before gari ijaingia kwenda barabarani Mombasa anachukua wanazungusha kwa makaburi seven times gari na kwa driven around the graves actually gari mpya zote mpya 
na hizo gari zikitoka hapo i see hakuna abiria awezi ingia wanazipenda wanafurahia sema sacrifice yameni sema kwa sauti sema kwa sauti ya kuongezeka sacrifice. sema sacrifice sacrifice sema sacrifice. sacrifice and the king offered his son who was reigning on his position when the children of israel saw they were done what sema terrified ama i said they were what i said they were what terrified ujaona faith ujaona mwanamke kaaba amechukua bwe bwana ya mtu na ana 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 authority anachukua simu anakupigia anasema hello nasikia wewe ndio bwana ya huyu ucheza cheza ujue mahali niko saa hii wacha ujinga na kusaidia saidia na kujaga tu hata fadhali unamuona unataka nichukue mtu anatetemeka mpaka <laughs> sio ni vita hatosha si unatetemeka jameni ai si unastuka bwana asifiwe bwana yesu asifiwe we want to continue on this topic that sacrifice attract the gods attract what as it attract what abram anachincha wanyama anangoja mungu kabla mungu hajaingia who came first sema the ravens kunguru sema kunguru si walikuja kuchukua anywhere there is a sacrifice the gods are attracted i what And let me tell you my friends. Kuna watu leo hivi wameenda to another level. Mama moja alituambia alituambia wakati anasema anasema I think there is another lady who so bragged before us and like. Anasema mimi 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 ndio yeye mwanamama anisiendea siwezi kumtaka. Huyo nikimtaka ni dakika moja nikauliza bila wanaume wanazungua duniani kutafutwa hivi yeye anasema kumtaka ni ni nini hiyo darusha ni magic gani hiyo yenye ambayo unaweza 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 pata mwanaume dakika na kuna wenye wako mtu amevaa mini skirt simeingia mpaka huku amevaa hipsta amevaa sui nini ameweka inaitwa hiyo hiyo ninja inaitwa nini hiyo ninja inaitwa nini wanjama wanjiko Enaitwa ai pencil na hapa chini ni low wapezi ai shadow ai shadow ah uh, mbona si ah uh, okay repeat it eh? you know we are forest men no? we don't know ai pencil ah ai I shadow I hararashes Yaani unaona kama wewe unaweza unakuwa kama ninja kama shaitani because now ukisimamisha yani unaona kama Mungu alifanya hebu imagine Mungu unafikiria zingine mtu akijichorea hiyo vitu unafikiria anajichorea rais wewe unaona bunduki zilitengenezwa guruneti pamoja na umbwa na nini unafikiria zilitengenezwa umbwa zingine Hebu nikuulize hata zile coat zilitengenezwa zenu na bunduki. Ukiona wakati wewe kotini kila saa wale ma prisoners wanatolewaga unaona bunduki zimeinuliwaga hivi. Unafikiri ni nyoni zinangoja? Eh? Wewe unaona mtu akikaa kwa kio kanisa achelewe hako kwa umeita hebu nipiti please baby. Come back again. I pencil. I rushes. Eh? I rush I shadow. I rushes. Eh? Alafu tena una teremko unaingia kwa mdomo hii nyingine inaitwa nini? Hii uninja nyingine? Hii unakaa kama Dracula. Eh? Lipstick na lipstick, eh? Maana kuna ya chini bado na juu, eh? Si kuna ya chini na juu? Eh ni moja. Sinafanana lakini. Hiyo biashara yote hiyo beti, mtu waacha sema waacha kusema ati unajipea raha. Hiyo biashara yote tu unasongeza nyumba kwa nyumba kwanza sema kama yeye ni msanii hujaolewa kwanza unakaa uji kama shetani yani uko officially na sema unajipanga hivi mwingine unachukua tu unaona amechukua magazeti 
Mwingine wamenunua ma, ma box Nairobi zile za kutengeneza pupu kubwa. Yaani mtu anaona anaona mtu amepanga hesabu ya pupu zenye ziko eh, serious. Alafu hapa Mbera amejichukulia waya ameweka. Wewe Fred unafikiri hiyo mtu hesabu yake ni, ni ofisi anaenda? Eh ni ulize ukweli. Hiyo sacrifice yote ya kununua hizo vitu za pupu. Esther, wewe uko huko nyumbani tu umekaa hivi unangoja mwasiri. Amepangiwa hesabu vita iko juu. Iko juu. Mtu ameenda. Kwanza unajua kununua hizo pupu Nairobi ni ni bei ni bei excess. Si wali kuna siku ya Lisa Mati jamaa mmoja amepeba msichana akafikiria ni hizo pupu ziko kuwa siko za nguvu. Akifika walipofika kwa room maana huyo alimzima za aliko to aliona ako flat kama mwendesha trailer yani akamuliza excuse me excuse me what is it jamaa alitoka nje na trosa yake asema no 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 mimi sitaki majini mimi sitaki majini wewe unafikiria wewe niulize mzee Somongi mzee Somongi sasa wacha tuongee wanaume tu kwa wanaume friend tuongee tu sisi wenyewe unafikiria kama kianza hiyo hesabu yote hivi wewe friend nani nani deno unaona hesabu mtu anachukua mtu Fred mtu anachukua hesabu kubwa ana Mungu alimpatia pupu za kutosha akampatia kama maziwa yake ni ya kuteremka tu mpaka huko chini anaweza tupa nyuma mtoto aendelee kunyonya akiendelea na shughuli haina stress because sio ati umejiumba God ako na njia zake yani Mungu anadili na kila mtu design ya wewe unaona mtu weje nusha unafikiri mtu wao dada wote unafikiri aga hesabu hiyo yote wanapigaga unafikiri wanapiga tu kwa sababu waende town wa Siku na mtu anapigiwa hesabu hapo anadha kuwawa Eh Eh Unasikia ma... unasikia vile mzazi wangu Anda Anda tulikuwa kwa mpira tunacheza Anda <laughs> Ahora mfikiria kama mama ako yu. Wewe <laughs> fei. Hiyo hesabu yote ikipigwa, hiyo hesabu yote ikipigwa unafikiria ni mtu amezikuja aenda ofisini afanye kazi kwa kwa amani. Na mwingine unaona afanye kazi, ako kwa nyumba yeye saa ine na nusu. Unanielewa? Msara moja aliponiambia Lore Tati analala na na judge, judge judge ule mzee Osiemo mwenye ako miaka sivyo ni ite, sivyo ni ite five. Ali confess kwangu akaniambia pastor skiriz wereze ile maneno nimefanya hata Mungu si kama anaweza nisamee nilikuwa naendaka kotini najifanya yeye anajifanya asiji kuna watu wako kotini ma brokers ni ma excesses yeye anachukua pesa ya 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 yeye ya, anakuwa ya, 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 broker hapa yeye ndio hivi eh ukimwona huyu mdada alipokuja kwa crusade ya apostle mosiri siku moja tukiwa hapo Eldoret amevaa kwa bidii ako tu kwa, kwa, kwa ngufu unaangalia unasema Jehovah witness huyu leo ametokea sio hata juzi wameandika gazeti juzi wakasema hata saingine mapasa zile wanateseka Nairobi msichana amekuja tu hivi anasema akiyeme bi 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 onona maziwa yote iko official na unajua na na wakasema <laughs> Ina mkono sema sio mimi hiyo sorry. Ina tu tu mkono sema sio mimi. Sema sio mimi. Sema dhabi zangu zote sitakuwa za Bwana. Imagine even evil sacrifice they give people what? Sema victory. As if they give people what? Evil sacrifice. Evil what? Evil what? They give people victory. Unasikia vile mzazi mmoja anaeleza vizuri mama mmoja iko hapa wanaume wote wako raini ukiuliza wako raini wanaenda wapi <laughs> Simama 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 we will continue from here next Sunday we want to If I was a rainbow I'd show my colors for you And if I was a songbird I'd sing my song for you And if you 
take the sun and the moon and take away the stars at night your faithful word will always be my light beautiful such a miracle that you would give up heaven Too much, my feet won't refrain. 